Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godhanda Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with Central Limit Theorem problem. Look at this problem. The lifetime of certain brand of tube light may be considered as a random variable with the mean 1200 hours and standard deviation 250 hours. Find the probability using Central Limit Theorem that the average lifetime of 60 lights exceeds 1250 hours. Here given population mean and before that we just consider sample mean mean is nothing but average sample mean x bar and population mean mu this is x bar population mean mu so sample is nothing but from the population so population suppose we have consider uh, any game so cricket just consider cricket total number of players population from the players we just select the best person the sample person the best all-rounder or any batsman or bowler this point of view when we are selected it's a sample so sample mean population mean here the tube light we consider tube light working hours so the total maximum working hours taking average the population sample means some of the tube light some tube light only selected and testing working hours then it's a sample mean now here the problems are given population mean value so mu equal to 1200 hours and standard deviation is given standard deviation sigma 250 hours 250 hours now here we have to consider the form what is the form here central limit theorem corollary if x bar is nothing but x1 plus x2 plus x dot x n by n so s n by n then expectation of x bar mu variance of x bar sigma square by n so x bar follows normal distribution with mean mu variance sigma square by n as n tends to infinity now z is nothing but x bar minus mu by sigma by root n is a standard normal radial variable random variable so therefore here in this case x bar let x bar is nothing but be the average lifetime average lifetime of tube lights tube lights of a sample of size n equal to 60 so by the corollary is mentioned that z equal to x bar minus mu by sigma by root n so therefore what is the question for here the question is mentioned thus probability of exceeds 1250 hours therefore the probability of average x bar greater than 1250 hours this is a question so only we are using this corollary x bar the question is average so the average lifetime of 60 lights exceeds 1250 hours so this x bar is nothing but we are going to convert x bar into z how to convert z equal to x bar minus mu by sigma by root n once we have converted then use normal distribution from here i am going to use for normal distribution how to convert this term x bar z equal to x bar minus mu by sigma root n for this term to convert z how to convert the probability of x bar minus mu greater than 1250 minus mu both sides subtract mu and divide by sigma root n sigma root n therefore probability of this term z greater than 1250 minus the mu values are given 1200 divide by sigma 250 divide by root of 60 so this is our value 
now simplify using calculator probability of z greater than so 1250 minus 1200 is nothing but 50 by 250 by square root of 60 using calculator the value 32.27 and then this is a probability of z greater than 1.55 so now this is a normal curve in the normal curve minus infinity to plus infinity this is a 0 and then this is a negative side 0.5 this is a right hand side 0.5 now to calculate this from 1.5 therefore I just consider 1.5 value for here 1.55 so from 1.55 to up to infinity up to infinity so this is a range is going up to infinity but from the table it's a difficult to calculate 1.55 to up to infinity therefore now how to calculate this the whole values from this to up to infinity right hand side 0.5 therefore subtract 0.5 minus of 0 to 1.55 subtract from this area total area then subtract this area 0 to 1.55 now the 0 to 1.55 to see the normal table so in the normal table 1.55 value 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4394 from the table normal table so how to see the table the previous video i uploaded please refer now this 0 0.5 minus of 0 0.4394 0 0.0606 so this is a value x bar greater than 1250 is nothing but the lifetime more than 1250 exceeds 1250 so this is a probability values of 0 0.0606 so this is a problem so this problem if given the problem sample mean population mean so population means are given standard deviations are given first of all whatever the given problem we can convert z variable why we are converting z variable because normal distribution the table is available from the table we are choosing the value so only the reason we are converting or oh, well x variable or x bar variable whatever is given convert into z variable so this is a using central limit theorem thank you